Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions again, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as the over 100 videos I made now in Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a comment or a like, that's all I'm asking for. And if you are interested in customization of Shopify and you want to be an expert when it comes to customization in Shopify, make sure to subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. I don't sell any courses, I don't have any paid membership or anything like that. Everything I do create, I do provide it completely free. You just have to skip around ads and stuff, but that's the case for most of the YouTube videos, right? And here I am again in another video, which is a request, of course, which is how to remove the sale badge on Shopify store. In this video, I will show you how to remove the sale badge on both the product page or the home page or the collection page. So even if you want to remove it only on the home page and keep it on the product page, this video will help you out. And if you want to remove it only on the product page, not on the home page or collection page, this video will help you out as well because I will provide two codes that will do each one of these. So no worries, I got you. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard, obviously. And I have here down team, which is the Shopify team I do all the tricks and tutorials on. I mean, all the demonstration. And I have down, uh, down version 15, which is the last one as if now. But below here, I have all the teams as well, which is taste, sense, refresh, spotlight, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because behind the scenes, each video I do record, I do try the trick on all of these teams as well to make sure that it works for them as well. I can't do that in the video because I'm gonna bore people, we're gonna leave the video before finishing. That's bad for me. So as I said in the demonstration, I will show you how to do it in down team, but behind the scenes, I do try it on all of these teams as well. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. I just have to say this so I don't waste your time. You know from the beginning of the video that this actually will help you out. Uh, not if you're only using down team or something like that. And without any more talking for the second time, let's just get to it and show you how to change or to remove, sorry, the sale badge on both the homepage or collection page and the product page or just one of them. So as you can see, this is the Shopify store. I do all the tricks. And by the way, if you are interested in adding the search bar or making a trans, marking the header, sorry, transparent and not transparent on the scroll, I just posted those videos. Make sure to check out the channel. So. As you can see, let me scroll down in here. I have sale badge. As you can see, if I click on the product picture, I mean product page, it has sale badge as well in here, as you can see. So as I said in this video, I will show you how to remove this either from product page or the home page. And if you are interested again in making the product pictures round corners like this, make sure to check out my channel. I already posted that video as well. So let me get back in here. We will keep this page open, do the trick and show you each one of them. Or actually first, I will show you how to do that for the product page. Then I will show you how to do that for the product cards in here, as well as the collection, which is the same. So let me access product page. We'll keep this page open, do the trick and come back and see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is, as always, access the Shopify dashboard. Click on online store from here, teams, and click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file, but instead of looking at the files in here, use the search bar at the top left corner and type in component. Simply type in component like this. And there is many, many files in here. Add the dash, component dash, price. Just like you see, and you will find the file called component-price.css as you can see on the screen in here. So make sure to find this one. Click on it, then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. So in here we need to create a space in order to paste in some code. Obviously that will do the trick. In order to create space, click on the front of the closing bracket in here, hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go, in a new space. Uh, because as I said, we're gonna paste in a code. To get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him wait 24 hours, then you will get the code and check if it works or not. But with me, you don't have to do that. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named it as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. We're gonna see a very short code that will do the trick. Three lines if you will count this as a, <laughs> a code. 
if not it's true lines so simply select the whole thing make sure to select the closing bracket as well as the dot otherwise it will not work then right click and copy after that get back to the component dash price dot css and paste it at the bottom of the file so let me paste it in here and after that we are good to go simply click on the save button right here wait a couple of seconds so the changes will be saved here we go we're gonna get back in here reload the page and the sale badge is gone as you can see but if i get back to the home page it's still here as you can see so this is how you remove it on the product page only now i will show you how to remove it from here as well so obviously get back to the code editor right here we're gonna find another file as well and this time is not component dash price it's component dash card so it's simply remove the price inside card or if you didn't do the first trick write again component dash card dot css you will see component dash card dot css click on it and here we go a bunch of code again scroll all the way down to the bottom page and in here again same story you need to create a new space here we go we have the space now to paste in the code in order to get the code blah 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 scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code 2 code number 2 and click on it it will take you to this page again with very short code as you can see so simply select the whole code in here let me select the whole thing right click copy after you copy the code get back to the code editor and paste it again at the bottom of the page after that click on save button a couple of seconds for the change to save it here we go get back to shopify store reload the page and the sale badge is gone on the cards the product cards as i said if I click on it, uh, product, uh, sale badge is gone as well because we keep this code at the first one, component price, here it is. If you want to do one of them, I think you already know what to do, right? Simply remove the trick in one of these files and you are good to go. And that's how you remove the sale badge on both homepage and product page or just one of them on your Shopify store. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.